On this day, the 13th of January, 1849, this was the day that the colony of Vancouver Island was established. This colony would last until 1866. Vancouver Island was visited and explored by Captain James Cook in 1778. He spent about a month in the area exploring and he claimed it for Britain at the time. This would eventually lead to a Spanish-British dispute over sovereignty over that part of the coast of North America. The Spanish had held for many years since the Treaty of Tordesillas that that part of the Americas, the entire western coast of the Americas, belonged to Spain. A Spaniard named Esteban José Martínez built a fort there in 1789. He also seized some British ships involved in the fur um, trapping industry. This would lead eventually to the Nootka Crisis. But before that, George Vancouver in 1792 turned up and tried to negotiate with the Spanish unsuccessfully. So the Nootka Crisis was a situation that involved more than just this claim on some empty coast in North America had to do a lot with European politics. Spain tried to get France on side. Britain had Holland on its side. And so they were gearing up for a fight. And if you know, around this time, they'd already been at war not long ago with the uh, American War of Independence. And by 92, French... Wars of revolution were about to break out. Anyway, so France eventually backed away from this, deciding not to get involved in this conflict about some empty coast very far away. So Spain, without allies, was forced to uh, make concessions, which it eventually did at the Nuka Convention. Britain basically got what, it's wa what it wanted which was a Spanish recognition that Vancouver Island was British and the area surrounding it also. For many in Britain, they saw that as meaning the Spanish had given up claims of all land north of San Francisco. The Spanish had a different idea, but the Spanish wouldn't be around for very much longer. So, wars come and go. The Spanish Empire collapsed, and in 1843, so a bit while, while later, uh, the Hudson Bay Company eventually established a settlement called Fort Albert, later renamed Fort Victoria. Now, the Hudson Bay Company had mostly been active on the other side of the Rockies, but had, be gi had been given permission to come over to the Pacific Coast. In 1846, the Oregon Treaty was signed with the United States, setting out the border between the United States and British North America. And this set the scene for the establishment of the colony. The Oregon Treaty uh, had put the border between British territory and American territory at the 49th parallel. However, that would go cr straight across Vict uh, Vancouver Island and cut off Fort Victoria, the most fertile and po populous part of Vancouver Island, and give that to the United States. So agreement was made that the border would stop at the sea and go around the southern part of Vancouver Island, leaving Fort Victoria um, in British, British hands. 
So, a few years after the Oregon Treaty, three years, on the 13th of January, the Crown Colony of Vancouver Island was established. It was leased initially to the Hudson Bay Company. The Hudson Bay Company being a company after profit, they were not the best um, people to be in charge of a colony. They they didn't really encourage settlement, they were more interested in trade and profit. And many settlers that did come out would end up going to New Caledonia, which is modern-day mainland British Columbia, California for its gold rush, or to the Oregon Territory where they could get free land. In 1855, a legislative assembly was finally established, which then was take, took power away from the Hudson Bay Company. It wasn't very popular in the colony. And later on, gold rushes in New Caledonia, or the British Columbia as it was then renamed, made Victoria a boomtown. So many people would be coming toward uh, British Columbia, and they would the first port of call would be Victoria, and it boomed. So it did very well for a time. However, later on, after the gold rushes, the island basically went bankrupt and the only thing that would keep them afloat would be union with the mainland and so in 1866 they united with British Columbia to create the colony of Vancouver Island in British Columbia which was later shortened to just British Columbia and as recompense Victoria would be the capital of this new province and then later on in 1871, this colony would finally join the Confederation of Canada. So, that's the story of Vancouver Island, the Crown Colony established on this day, the 13th of January, 1849. If you like these videos, come back tomorrow for more. Comment, like, and subscribe.